to take care of professional development of teachers, uh, country or teachers themselves or administration of schools in um, secondary education and in higher education? Whose responsibility is it? I think uh, we should uh, look at this problem a little bit broader mm -hmm. uh, because um, you know that uh, first of all we have to say we have to speak about uh, the lack of agent of changes in Ukraine. Uh, institutionally, I am afraid that I can say only about Kiev Academy. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't uh, find some uh, social groups which uh, will be interested in such changes within the educational system in Ukraine. Uh, on the other hand, we have very strong requirements from civil society, but we can't find real social groups. And uh, uh, for instance, uh, at universities, uh, students are not agents of changes, teachers are not, uh, administrators are the same. In uh, the system of uh, secondary education, directors are not uh, agents of changes. Uh, parents of, of pupils also, we can't consider them as an agent of changes. That is why in, in, in such situation, uh, the Ministry of Education and the government itself uh, have a huge responsibility for, 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 for improving uh, uh, the situation and uh, for development of uh, further reforms. It means, uh, I, I think in this case, both uh, government, the government and civil society are responsible. And such organizations like yours okay. uh, uh, do a lot uh, in, this, uh, in this way. Uh, but uh, the problem of lack of ages of changes, it, it's a huge problem in our, high, in our education area. So, uh, for instance, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of examples when uh, uh, I remember a lot of activists in time of uh, uh, revolution of dignity yes. <laughs> who uh, were very uh, you know, demanding and very brave and like that, but when they uh, came back uh, to the university, yeah. uh, they continue uh, to live uh, according to previous rules, mm -hmm. you know, because it was common for them, it mm -hmm. was understandable, uh, they uh, would not uh, to have, uh, wouldn't have uh, any pro some problems with administration and so on. That is why I think, uh, one more time, that uh, both the government and civil society are responsible, first of all. Okay. And since he mentioned your organization, could you um, tell everybody what Prosuit does and what they're doing? Um, shortly speaking, we focus on professional development of school teams, uh, okay. mainly principal and at least 10% of, uh, of the teachers of the school, and we focus on um, building with them um, their uh, capacity to work more collaboratively. Uh, on the teacher's level, it includes that teachers um, learn to give feedback to each other, they learn to share their practices and do classroom observations and uh, um, uh, then speak about this experience and discuss often not very easy topics. And with principal, it's developing uh, his or her capacity to delegate, to uh, work more with the team. Uh, we had previously experience working with uh, just teachers uh, and focusing on classroom instructions, but we struggled with uh, the fact that then the teacher comes back to school and he has a leader who doesn't support. Yep. Mm -hmm. And everything stops. It's probably the same as you mentioned. And mm -hmm. what I, I, I agree with uh, on Serhii that um, both bottom-up and, uh, bottom and top-down approaches are important. and. Um, I think that uh, we have at least two universities in Ukraine that could uh, work on uh, educational programs for school leaders. Because mm -hmm. at, at the moment, university is focused, uh, the university administrative education is focusing a lot on teachers. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have this leadership gap. And um, I, I see right now in Minnesota that 
those teachers who want to become the principals, they have to have a master's degree in education administration and leadership. And they discuss leadership cases, they discuss leadership problems. These are people who won't become a leader if they don't have proper education. Yep. And um, it, it may help, and it, it may be on the university level. We have uh, a lot of NGOs that are jumping in, but that's a huge system, half a million of teachers. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not easy, so it will be a long way from it. And I think one more people who are not really uh, working harder uh, are parents. Mm -hmm. Because um, what we see in schools, there is very little dialogue between teachers and parents. Okay. And uh, lately we had a, uh, the team members who were telling me the story that uh, the one school that we work with, uh, uh, they had the meeting with teachers and uh, the parents, and they suddenly heard that they have, uh, they suddenly heard each other, the problems they have, and then now they are meeting every month. So parents didn't give feedback, they don't demand, and, uh, or uh, engage, and teachers are afraid to say. So uh, there are a lot of things that we are not used to because of our post-Soviet context, to talking and discussing. Yeah. So, it's also important. Uh, may I add uh, something uh, about leadership? It's also very interesting that in, uh, one more time, uh, in Ukrainian political language, uh, leadership uh, is something different from uh, English yeah. Russian. <laughs> because in Ukraine, uh, uh, leadership, uh, when our people uh, use this term, they mean some features of personal character of some concrete leaders mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. who uh, could be, uh, you know, the top of the system and uh, only on him or her uh, depends everything uh, within concrete organization but it's, it's wrong understanding because leadership it's a, a team meaning it means uh, if we say about for instance some uh, uh, some concrete university uh, we should have leadership in all, in all level of management it's not only about rector it's about administration it's about students uh, self-government it's about everyone within university mm -hmm. uh, it means we have to change the mind of our people and uh, explain them a uh, uh, different reality how it, it can work and should work in ukraine mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's important but I, I think that all examples uh, uh, of activity of such organizations like yours uh, is very important for Ukraine because uh, we need to have successful cases how it can work in Ukraine. Um, and uh, uh, if we uh, speak about uh, the secondary education, uh, uh, maybe one of the most important problems or challenges which we have is fundamental lack of funds. Because funds, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, investments, it is important because we have to, uh, you know, we have to change uh, the kind of preparation of our teachers. Mm -hmm. We have to improve uh, the equipment in our schools and so on. Uh, it's not like uh, in case of high education. Uh, it, it's uh, for for uh, the state. It's uh, much more stressful, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, I believe that. Um, uh, it uh, will take some years mm -hmm. because according to current Ukrainian budget we don't have enough funds for the reformation of Ukrainian schools because we have to ref uh, reform the whole system, yeah. uh, the old schools, you know, it, it's, it's a very hard problem. So you've mentioned growing leaders on different levels. How